6.2 and 6.5 diesel glow plug controllers. Seems there's always issue with glow plugs on the 6.2s and 6.5s. When Chevrolet came out with this 6.2 engine in 1982, there was a sensor screwed into the back of the driver's head in the valley that had electrical con contacts on top. I think the plug had eight wires. And it sensed the temperature. It, when it decided the glow plugs needed to be on, it sent power to a relay over on the driver's inner fender, which then sent power to the glow plugs. I've heard people call that set up the octopus. It was a pain. I had an 84 Suburban with a 6.2 in it that had that system. It didn't work right. It, you could jiggle those wires. It, those sensors are un unavailable anymore. It was just a pain. The what they replaced it with is a whole lot better. I'll talk about it in a minute. But I'm going to show. I'm showing you a CUCV 6.2 diesel. This is an 85 1009, and you can see. Glow plug relay, orange wires going to left and right glow plugs. Back here on the inside of the head is a sensor that plugs into the water system, water jacket on the cylinder head, on the same spot as the octopus was, that senses the temperature. And then it sends it all to a computer controlled circuit board. Very advanced for its time. That circuit board, this thing right here, So the CUCVs had the glow plug card, fancy circuit board. It went in this under the dash. Pop it on in. You had wires through the firewall to the firewall connector. And through these wires, it went to that relay sitting next to the master cylinder. That is how the CUCV system worked. Chevrolet replaced the octopus, which I had and threw out, I don't have one anymore, with the gray glow plug controller. So you can see you got lugs here, power from the battery, power out to the glow plugs. This is the battery side, it doesn't matter which, it doesn't matter at all. But glow plug right, glow plug left, or whatever. I got two of these with this four wire connector. This came along in 85. This bolts outside of the cooling system, but still in the driver's inside of the valley, driver's side, back of the head. It bolts on there. You can bolt that way or bolt it this way. I think I have mine on like this, this space in the firewall. This turns on the glow plug light. It senses its own temperature and it will turn the glow plugs off and on. Supposedly, it changes the time based on what it thinks is the temperature. On my 84 Suburban, I replaced the Octopus with one of these. I did it in November. Every time I turned the key for the next four months, the glow plugs came on. No matter how much I've been driving the car, truck, no matter what I've been doing, how long it was on, the glow plugs glowed at least some. Then it was we had a 90 degree day. I get in it, we drive somewhere, 30 minutes away, get out, come back in 20 minutes, turn the key on, no glow plugs. Like, oh no, this one's failed. I try to start it, start right up. This thing actually knows the temperature. It's the gray one. There's four leads. GM used these from 85 until they went to the electronic DS injection pumps, DS4s, in 95. Then you got this one. It's black, three wires. Don't use a black three wire unless you have the computer controlled injection pump. Because the injection pump, the pump mounted driver too, tells, controls how long the burn is or the glow. This is for the electronic pumps. These ones are for the non electronic pumps. I've added one of these to my 1967 Kaiser M715 that I have a 7.2 or 6.2 in. Works great. I have one of these on my cow dog, my 87 three quarter ton diesel Suburban with a GEP 665 engine in it. I've had a couple of these go bad where they just won't come on at all. 
couple times these pins get bent or the most of my trouble has been with this plug here see that slop in there this pin this i've had i had one setup it only goes on one way there's a thin and a fat the plug fits on it clips down but i've had a couple of these where even that wasn't enough i actually put a zip tie around to hold it down tighter but if you're going to have a standalone, not think about it system, the, this controller and this pigtail. Only trouble is you're going to spend about $100 to get these new. Uh, that's just the way it is. But they work really, really well. So those are the three ways, glow plugs, well actually four ways, GM used to control glow plugs. The electric temperature sensing one in the head which I don't have a sample of because when I replaced it I threw it out because <laughs> I don't want that piece of junk sitting around anymore it might contaminate the other tools the gray controller for the 85 to the end of mechanical injection the black controller for 95 to the end of the 65 and well on the vans 03 and then the CUCV system. CUCV, there are people who make new controller cards. They're around $200. But this, this setup is actually the best one, in my opinion. This is the tip. It has to have a special sensor in the back, in the head. This plugs onto that. When it's cold out, I'll turn the key on one of my 1009s. It might glow for 30 seconds. But it starts within half a second of turning the key every single time. These ones, most time they're good. Sometimes you gotta double cycle them. If it's below 40 out, I almost always double cycle these just because they're not glowing enough when I'm running AC Delco 60G glow plugs. So there you have it. Three, actually four different ways. Here's three, one, two, and three, plus the old octopus style. Four ways GM used to control glow plugs. These ones are the best add-on for a standalone system.